Well, from to here inside Tripoli itself to Lindsay Hilson, who joins us again from Zawiya, about 30 miles uh, off the capital there. Um, well, to here seems pretty clear there are big gun battles going on, uh, Lindsay, but in the fog of euphoria, spin and propaganda, it is a fact that there is still serious resistance from government forces. Oh, yes, there's no question of that. And it's interesting that when Colonel Gaddafi spoke, he sort of turned it around. He talked about liberating Tripoli from the rebels. The rebels, of course, talk about liberating Tripoli from Colonel Gaddafi. But there are all sorts of machinations going on which are quite hard to fathom, which may be just as decisive as the fighting. In the last few days, we've heard persistent reports of prisoners, political prisoners, escaping. A lot of these prisoners are people who were arrested at the beginning of the revolution in February from Abu Salim, which is a very famous prison, and from several others, including some, we are told, this afternoon. Now, those people, how did they escape? Did the prison guards let them out? We don't know yet. Also, what's happening with the tribes? The tribes are very important in Libya, and different tribes have different positions within the army. Now, one of the most important people from one tribe, the Mergaha tribe, who was with Colonel Gaddafi at the beginning during his revolution in 1969. He's been out of favor for a long time, but he went into exile. He gave a big talk yesterday. Now, that may persuade many members of his tribe to desert. So there are all these other things going on, apart from the straight fighting, which may decide what happens in the end. Well, now, the, uh, the rebels are all very good, as they always have been, is saying we're on the road to Tripoli, it's going to happen, it's going to happen today, tomorrow. What's your hunch from where you see it in Zawiya? Oh, I wouldn't be so bold as to guess, but I would say that there is still a lot of fighting to go. And I would say that it is not something which can just easily happen overnight, unless Colonel Gaddafi changes his mind and wakes up tomorrow morning and says, you know, on second thoughts, I think I'll go off to Tunisia. At the moment, that doesn't seem very likely. Everything depends on the inner circle around him and what they do in the next few days. Do they stick with him? Do they fight it out? Or do they desert? Lindsay Hilson there in Zawiya.